How can a parent maintain their dignity when they look at a child with a pre-existing condition and tell them they can't afford, they can't afford to get insurance for them? How can a parent maintain their dignity when they have a child or a husband or a wife who's terminally ill and the insurance company can come along and say, sorry, you're brought out of coverage. Dying. In 2017, 45,000 deaths occurred that were linked to lack of health care. This is quite easily preventable by just lowering the costs. Here are some of our classmates' reactions to this fact. What do you think about the fact that 45,000 deaths a year are linked to lack of health care coverage? I feel like that is really bad because health care is a really important thing in this nation. And maybe if those 45,000 people had health care, maybe they wouldn't have died. It's quite disappointing that they let that many deaths happen because it's unaffordable and not everyone can have it. Crushed out there. I mean, people are getting hammered. I toured the country for three years, met with hundreds of folks, insurance executives, hospital leaders, pharma, small hospitals, biotech, you name it, and the patients in their homes listening to them how the healthcare system has devastated them and it's a mess right now. But Each year costs one person more than $10,500 to cover healthcare. This is a problem for most people because they can't afford that kind of cost. Now let's go see what people of Maitland Middle School think of this. What do you think about the fact that each year costs one person more than $10,500 to cover health care? I think that's a lot of money, especially for families who have a big family and they need health care. It's just going to be more and more money added. What do you think about the fact that it costs more than $10,500 per person to cover health care every year? Um, I think the government should cut the health care prices in half or maybe just find a, like, a solution for everybody in their life be able to afford it. What do you think about the fact that each year costs one person more than $10,500 to cover health care? I think that it's bad because of low income families and if somebody's in that family that needs help they can't do anything because they don't have any money. As you can see this is a very big problem in the U.S. Here are some solutions students of MMS came up with. Do you think the U.S. government can solve the health care crisis in the U.S.? I think that like for the income amount people make they should uh, lower the health care costs, like say for low income people, they should lower it by like maybe three thousand dollars. What do you think the U.S. can do to solve the health care crisis? I feel like they could, they should probably make it lower because there's some families out there that have no, don't, they don't have a lot of money and they can't afford health care, and it'll be a better chance. What do you think the U.S. can do to solve this problem? I personally think that mm -hmm. there, you shouldn't have to pay for health care because. People don't intend to get hurt, so if they do, or if they do come up with a certain disease, or like if they're ever in need of financial support for a health issue, then I don't think we should be charged from the government. I don't think there's anything wrong with the health care as it is. But it's too expensive and some people can't get health care coverage. Why don't they just get a job then? Because some people can't get a job based on where they're living, and some people can't make enough to afford health care as long on top of feeding their family. So that's only one reason. Why should people change it? Well, because of that tax size, over 45,000 deaths a year are linked to lack of health care. Okay, but what do you think you should do about it? Well, the government could allocate more funds from supporting business owners. They could tax higher, richer people to give money to the poor so they can afford proper health care for their family. The only truth is this. Health care is not treated as a human right in the United States of America. This fact is outrageous. And it is far past time that we change it. Say it loud for the people in the back. Health care is a human right. For my family, although we have comparatively good private health insurance, ALS now means paying out of pocket for almost 24-hour home care. This costs us $9,000 every month. The alternative is for me to go on Medicare and move into a nursing home, away from my wife and my son. So we are cobbling together the money from friends and family and supporters all over the country. But this is an absurd way to run a health care system. GoFundMe is a terrible substitute for smart congressional action.
Like so many others, Rachel and I have had to fight with our insurer, which has issued outrageous denials instead of covering the benefits we paid for. We have so little time left together, and yet our system forces us to waste it dealing with bills and bureaucracy. That is why I am here today, urging you to build a more rational, fair, efficient, and effective system. I am here today to urge you to enact Medicare for All.